one of the things that I hear Knapsack is talking about a lot, but also it's starting to find its way into the general conversational areas that we deal with is this either this idea of system of systems. Mm. What does that mean? It sounds a little jargony to me. It does sound jargony, you know, and it, it, it means different things to different teams, depending on kind of their, their scope and scale, really. And, you know, it's, it's easy to think about usually in terms of something like a, a house of brands, right? One, a, a consumer good or a pharmaceutical company that shows up to market as dozens of different brands, some of which are major in market, right? And need mm -hmm. in, in the world design systems, they need their own design system, right? But that yeah. holding company doesn't want all of these teams to make everything from scratch, right? And so... And in other cases, maybe they want to show a few brands, you know, on a corporate site, right? And so there's all these different concepts of, you know, what's our go-to-market strategy? What's our brand strategy? What level of visibility? But also, how do we operate efficiently as a massively scaled digital product organization? Yeah. That means you need to have these ideas that, frankly, they're familiar to engineers for the most part of inheritance. And where do we have things that are common that we can share, but also enable teams to do things unique to their brand or their business unit? without losing that efficiency of the fact that probably 80% of everything everyone uses is in some way shared, right? By at least yeah. one other team, yeah. right? And so systems of systems is about how do we architect our infrastructure, our tools, and also the way we work to allow for that kind of uh, necessary tension, but also power of you got unique capability, you have the freedom you need. If you solve for a thing, someone else can ultimately pick it up over here, you know, and we can all enjoy the the efficiencies that come with just kind of the conceptual, you know, idea of sharing things more uh, versus rebuilding them. Yeah, as somebody who was educated as an evolutionary biologist, I really like this idea because what you're saying is we all have to adhere to the rules of chemistry and physics, but within that framework, we still have the freedom to be able to evolve into the different things that we want. And the system of systems is saying, look, we're going to buy into these underlying principles that are going to be the same for everybody. But within that, you have the freedom to go and express yourself in any way you want. So that's pretty cool. Well, and the thing that's even more powerful that would, you know, really rock Darwin if you're into that is, uh, you know, go up, someone that at a lower level of this tree could uh, solve for something and say, you know what, it'd be pretty cool if everyone else had this too. Let's go up a couple levels and re-inherit that uh, across everyone because you know what, it'd be better if we all had gills or, you know, wherever that ends up in that analogy. So that two-way flow as well at Enterprise is so huge because, no matter what that tree looks like, if there's one little team or big team even managing that whole expanse that can keep going and cascading, that becomes a bottleneck that then starts to, again, erode trust. These teams start to not get what they need. They start managing all their own stuff. And yeah. so giving the the ability to be you know, kind of a two-way flow of information, it really becomes more about, again, enabling a way of working within a product org where there's a team that does a lot of work managing central stuff. There's teams that are doing amazing work in the trenches on end products. And it doesn't need to be, you know, kind of a one-way flow. So powerful concept. 